I'm gonna have to be vague here, but have you guys heard about that $50 billion crisis? Do you know the people who are involved in that crisis? Good, because that's what I'm gonna have to refer to them as henceforth, because they reported my videos, y'all. They almost got me banned. So guys, that clip was from popular TikToker, Amara Rial. She considers herself to be the alpha female dating coach. Now it has been the first time that I've talked about her here on this channel. I mentioned her with the response to Austin Holloman in the video a few days ago, but this is a young lady who's come back under my radar after she's posted something about black men. Now, what did she post? She put this TikTok video up about the $50 billion problem that American black men have with the fact that black men lose that money because of them being, you know, imprisoned or things like that every year. That's the loss that they have. But what was her motivation of putting that particular clip up? Well, if you remember in the beginning of the video, she talked about that some of her videos on TikTok have been reported. And as a result, she now refers to black men as the $50 billion problem or the $50 billion issue, right? And when she's talking about black men being in prison, she's talking about a specific group of black men. It's not Nigerian American men. It's not Jamaican American men. She's talking about African American or the original black American black men. She's talking about that particular group. But I'm gonna get to that in, uh, in a second. But now let's talk about TikTok in removing videos for what you consider to be hate speech, all right? Now, what I'd like to do right now is to review a few videos that you're gonna find, you know, in my opinion, quite delusional, but the last video is what you're gonna see some extreme hatred towards men, and I'm gonna kinda get into that. So let's go ahead and play the first video. The world is overpopulated. That's the reason why women should have several husbands and males should share their wives. If a male is not sharing his wife, he can have up to 50 children at once. A woman can only carry one pregnancy at a time. I have two cups. One of them is broke. Why will I drink out of the broke cup when there's one here that is perfectly fine? so funny to me how the men that nobody wants love to call the men that the prettiest, richest, most mentally stable women want simps. They're simps because the best girls want them. So that just means simps are what the best girls want. What? So that means simp is not a bad name, but you try to use it as a bad name to make people feel bad. If these rich men with manners and jobs and cars and jets are simps, um, I'm sorry, sir, I love simps. And that's why nobody loves you because you're whatever is the opposite of a simp, which has gotta be smelling. What? It's smelling to me, it's smelling like shit. So guys, as you can see, in my opinion, the young lady, um, <laughs> has some interesting perspective that I feel are quite delusional. I don't know about you, but this sort of video that we're gonna go into right now in which she considers uh, all men or whores, we're gonna really talk about that particular video and then we'll come back. Ladies, stop having sex with whores. Men are whores. If they've had sex with more than two people, that means they've had with hundreds of people because the girls that they had sex with are whores. So that means they're having sex with all the men those two girls have ever had sex with and all the girls that those two girls, men, have ever had sex with. Stop having sex with whores. They are handing out like name tags. Do you want to have her? Listen to me. Listen to me, ladies. Men are whores. Stop having sex with whores. Jesus Christ. All right, so you heard what she had to say. If you're a man and you've had sex with more than two people, then you are, um, you're a whore and women shouldn't deal with you. 
she says nothing about the women that do this, but okay, fine, right? Let's just deal with what she's talking about. But now, such messages towards men on social media platforms are considered what? They are considered hate speech. This is hate speech against a specific group, all right? Men in general, if you want to say black men in particular, okay? But now, such talking points, for example, if I'm a man and I come on here and I spew that kind of stuff, that sort of nonsense. Well, what would happen to me on TikTok? They'll also remove me. If I talk like that on YouTube, which YouTube is very, very particular about how you talk about women, black women in particular, they will also remove my account. But now, she's upset at black men because her videos are being taken down on TikTok, but she's not being upset at herself for posting that sort of nonsense in which is reported. Because when TikTok sees the video after you've been reported, just like YouTube, well, they're not gonna come out and say, well, oh, black men are reporting your video. They're gonna look at the video to see if it violates the terms and conditions that you agreed to come on or perform as a content creator. But now let me kind of go back to this. If you go back to her TikTok page, you will see what she really is, right? She lives like LA to Nigeria. So what does that tell me? She's a Nigerian American, okay? Now, I wanna talk about, let's go back to the $50 billion problem. Now, she's talking about black American men. Now, she is an American, but she's a Nigerian American, right? And Nigerian Americans do very well in America. You will hear no arguments from me. I have a lot of respect for Nigerian American people. But now, let's talk about Nigeria as a country. Now, let's pull up some, if we can, Google some problems. I'll have my editor do that. He's from the continent. We can find many issues going on in Nigeria right now. That Nigerian American, maybe we talk about scammers, we talk about everything, right? But now, because I have a problem with a few people, does that give me the right to throw down certain issues on a country like Nigeria? No, it doesn't. Now, what she's saying, it could be true. But now, if I were to do this, now people would have a problem with me. Is that right? So see, this is how these little diaspora beefs happen because you want to tag black men in America who you're referring to, particularly as black American men who are having these problems. Now you're a Nigerian American lady. Now if somebody starts bringing up these things, then it'd be an issue. See, the thing about it is though, is that Nigeria has nothing to do with this at all, right? Just like black American issues, as far as the men having that, you're only using that as a talking point because you got flagged. It would be almost like me being petty and start to throw the problems that Nigeria is having because you said that about me. You see how dumb that is? And the people in Nigeria wouldn't deserve that because they had nothing to do with that. Just like your particular hate speech towards men, it has nothing to do with black American men. If I come out here and say black American women are this or Nigerian American women are that or whatever, and then they take my video down, then I go and start bringing out all kind of facts about black women. Oh, black women lead in the obesity rate. Are they lead in the STD rates or pregnancy rates? What does that have to do with the fact that my video got taken down because of me? Whether it's true or not, I'm still violating community guidelines with my speech. And here's the issue. Here's the main salt of the whole thing. A lot of young women, especially in the social media game, they want the ability to freely be able to insult black men and nothing should happen to them. That's right, they don't feel like TikTok or YouTube or Instagram should shut these posts down because they're talking down on men. They wanna have free reign to do that. And then when black men say something, they wanna be able to report it. But when they're getting reported, then what they wanna do is go in there and find certain things that you can find that will make black men look bad. And of course, you can find anything to make anybody look bad. You can find things on Chinese people, you can find things on white people, Hispanics, you can find good and bad of both groups. But what does it gotta do with you as an individual saying things that are against the community guidelines of said particular social media network? That's what we're dealing with. And these are the young ladies that some of these guys are gonna be dealing with long-term in relationships. These are the women that are going around calling black men beta males or men beta males. And you think that somebody wants to take care of a woman like this? No, look at the mentality of that person. 
that this is not kind of person you want to be seeing in a relationship every day because even if you do something wrong, they're not never gonna take accountability for it. She is not even looking at the fact that it's her issue as to why she's having an issue on TikTok. Has nothing to do with black men in particular. But guys, what do you think about? Let me know what you feel in the comment section. It's your boy, Oshay Jackson. Back at it again. We out. Peace.